The following segment is sponsored by Smith Injury Law and 300hurt.com. When you're in an accident, it can come out of nowhere. Everything's very sudden, and you might not be thinking clearly about what you need to do next. Legally, one of the best things you can do after a crash is preserve the evidence at that scene. Richard Smith of Smith Injury Law is with us this morning. Hi. Good morning, Margaret. Um, on that issue, at Smith Injury Law, I know that you go above and beyond. You make sure nothing is lost, and a quick response is everything to you, isn't it? That's very true, because what happens is if you don't preserve the evidence, it gets lost and gone, and it is a huge difference in your case. Uh, so that's why we always tell people, you know, do some basic things. If you're in an accident and you're not injured to a point that you can't move or get around, take pictures of the scene, of the property damage with your phone, of any skid marks, of anything, and certainly try to move the vehicles if you're taking pictures, showing the vehicles uh, touching, because it could be a problem if the vehicles are moved later and the defendant decides to lie about how the accident happened. Right. Well, you, you've got accident reconstruction experts, too, that you dispatch. They know exactly what evidence to preserve, and we'll get into that a little bit more in just a minute. But first, uh, you tell the general person, uh, take pictures of the, the cars, the injuries, the skid marks. Call police, too, right? Absolutely. Always call the police. If there's, unless you feel like you can pay for the damage out of your pocket and you don't really want to pursue anything, you got a little tiny dent and you, you know, you work, you, you do something like that. But any type of substantial impact, you better call the police because if you don't, there's a good chance the insurance company could deny a claim. And in some states, you're told to move vehicles out of the road when possible, but you don't like to see that happen until the police officer arrives. I prefer that, but if you have to move it, just take the pictures first because mm -hmm. then you can move it and you have evidence to show the officer when they come to the scene. There's been more than one case where I've had clients uh, basically who moved the vehicles before the police got there, and the defendant is now lying about how the accident happened, and, and you don't have any proof because you've moved the evidence. Right. Well, now some insight about what is the accident reconstruction expert wanting to document right after the collision happens. They go into some detail. Yes. What happens is if you have a, a serious injury case, and there's any question at all about liability, uh, there's a speed issue, or something of that nature. We have a highly qualified accident reconstructionist that we work with a lot, and he can go out there very soon after the accident, after we call us. And I've had you know, cases where I've called an expert right after talking to the client on the phone, sent them out to the scene, take measurements, because I like everything else. You know, you know, rain, weather, things happen to eliminate the evidence if you don't move quickly. And I've had it on several cases. One of them was a famous tree case that I had where the tree fell on somebody and injured them. We had to get somebody out to examine the tree to prove that the, that, that the, that the tree was, in fact, destabilized and caused to fall by the, the actions of the defendants. That's just one example. But on a car case, in most cars that are relatively new have a black box like an airplane. Mm -hmm. And they can go plug into that. They can get the speed. They can tell if you had your seatbelts on or not. A lot of information out there available to the uh, investigator if they get to the scene fairly quickly. You want to get there before the vehicles are, are, are totally lost and taken to a storage yard because you may need to measure them for impact. So a lot of things out there can be lost if you don't move quickly. And that's why it's important if you have a, a serious injury case or any case in which you have a bodily injury, you need to call an experienced personal injury attorney as soon as possible. Yep, you make sure all the bases are covered there. And collision, that's just one area of your practice at Smith Injury Law. Give us a rundown of your specialties and, and how you serve the community. Well, we also work on workers' compensation cases, which is a great number of those in South Carolina and North Carolina, we handle both states. We also do Social Security disability claims. Uh, those cases are very difficult to win now. You have to have documentation to support your, your, your actual claims of injury, and we work with you on that kind of case. Basically, any kind of case in which a person is injured, you know, through no fault of their own or if they're injured on the job, call us. There's never a fee to talk to us. If, we, if it's a case we don't handle, we can steer you in the right direction. All right, wonderful. Richard Smith of Smith Injury Law. You can get in touch with him by calling 864-300-HURT or visit 300hurt.com. Richard Smith, we look forward to talking to you again really soon. Thank you, Margaret.